Okay. <coughs> All right, folks. Um, welcome again back to MCH channel, uh, YouTube channel. Where, um, music production is simplified. Yes, it's mostly targeting all the people who are still starting and still struggling with them. Um, um, they're still struggling or not really struggling but uh, figuring out how to put together your track so let me not put I'm um, struggling um, those words might not be, they will mean completely different thing to other people all right so um, the project I have it's not gonna take long I know I like to talk a lot that's unfortunate um, Apologies to those who expect, I mean, someone to just jump in there and start actually showing what happens. Um, with me, I've got um, a way of dealing with um, um, with music. There's always a reason why I do this and why I put it out there. So I'll give you my reasons why. So it's up to you whether you want to continue watching it. There will be obviously timelines, timestamps on there where you can skip um, where I talk or if you want to see something that's if it's useful to you or because mostly they always say the introduction the first cut is the deepest isn't it so is the introduction it's how you introduce yourself that matters most that uh, kicks the conversation going all right so unfortunately for me I'm not sure if my conversation and introduction um will turn you off or will turn you in so whichever way it is but it is what it is um um my tutorials are all about you know we need we need to get to the bottom of why we do things at a certain time right so that our end product will be something that's well thought of something that has been that you have self-scrutinized right something that you're so proud of to put out there Right, for someone even if someone can say whatever they want you are proud you did the best out of what you have done because a lot of people let's be honest people people comment on something they cannot absolutely do that they've never even had the guts to put out there and they'll comment about it right so you can imagine what that means because if you can have the guts to comment negatively or good about something that you have never actually done right it's your choice it's always it's always you have to find your space and reason why because the the bottom line is you won't be answering why you have to do what you have to do right put out something there and then then you can comment that was that's all i could say all right so fair enough uh with that uh, with that talk um my first page today as usual i always try and explain what i have on my pages right the first page that I'm going to show you is the settings, which is the reason why. So I've got too many whys here. For me to open, um, the, uh, to start doing the track and have this idea of me wanting to actually put a track out there, is the reason there is something that just triggered it. So it's the trigger point that I've, I have to highlight here. Right. So the trigger point is always important. Some people, for them to start putting up ideas out there, they can be triggered by even bears. They can be triggered by something they just saw on the street. They can be triggered by something they saw behind their eyelids when they were closed, when they were fast asleep. Right, in their dreams, of course. You know, there could be something that they had, right? So the trigger point is always important, right? It's always important. That's what leads to a good track that you're going to put there. Yes, it might not sound uh, very nice to everyone else, but they might not tie in or... Uh, connect with what you act, what triggered this whole thing for you to put out there right but the bottom line is put it out there there will be a few people those few are more important than anything else you might find that in your whole working life you have hardly had any any very few people than what you're gonna have who appreciate what you what you have done your way that's more important and connecting with other people it's also important it's like being to a hospital Right? When you get to a hospital, everyone is going to look at you and, you know, they will have their say about you. But they all forget that they are there because they're all sick. 
whether the sickness is severe or mild the bottom line is we are all under the same roof for one reason only and the reason is we all sick and we need attention right all right so we shouldn't forget that so whenever we do comments let look at ourselves what have we done out there right to make a difference all right so my reasons are two so the first reason is what triggered the what triggered the, the, the for me to do it and why I'm doing it so if you look at it my my info page this is where you can write all your stuff uh, my title is my tears runs deep usually I don't put titles until I listen to the track and they are here where it's going me I mean where it's taking me and where it's taking me as I listen to each and every instrument as I put it together from intro as I build onto that track it it actually it will be showing me there will be a little video playing in my head as as I see where it's going and then when I'm listening to it there should be visuals that you'll be seeing in there anyway that's that's how that's the sort of producer I become where it's imagination I imagine it's not about what I like or what what no it's about imagining certain scenarios out there like I've always said now in the past three or four of my tutorials right so I've put my links there if you look at it here yeah. uh, put my links first um, because some people will jump they might be bored and they don't like reading um, some they just like um, sweet stuff which is okay uh, so I put my links there so you put all your details there and the reason for me writing this song I've written it down there because I, I want to, to constantly remind myself why I've, I'm writing this song and why should someone actually you know pay attention and stay in there right up to the end and see if they're gonna feel the same way that I felt when when this year yes you know this was in the in the heat of the moment when I was trying to calm down right so imagine the long struggle of Nelson Mandela 27 years to be exact multiplied by two so we're talking of 54 years right 54 years here so instead his second half of his 27 years he tries hard to catch up with the fallen 27 years which means the past 27 years that wasn't that he actually spent incarcerated and then for another 27 years things ain't going well that's what i'm trying to say so so quite uh, uh sounds quite uh confusing right yeah there comes a time in one struggling working life when everything does not add up when everything just seems to be in fallacy and far-fetched to be really happening to you and you only for so long you have been battered sh shamed bruised left for dead and somehow you miraculously out survive every nasty thing fate throws at you you break down and even survive um, enemy number one and we know what enemy number one is it's depression 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 you know the last thing that one needs to be in is to be depressed but we all get depressed but for some reason it doesn't really get to that bad part but all of us for some if he had problem at some point he were depressed he went into depression that's my feeling so again people will have a lot to say they can judge on that one um that just correcting something here for some reason uh, this has gone haywire yeah? all right so yeah so everyone but few can sincerely and painfully see your struggles and thwarted endeavors day in and day out so as much as you try you're trying hard you know only your immediate family if people that you stay with in the house will probably see all your struggles they'll see all your your efforts in trying to change the status quo um, in your life but to them also they become helpless as much as they help you time and time again at some point they'll lose that patience they'll lose uh, hope you know that kind of thing because a lot of us we live in hope that things will change things will change yet time actually goes right all right so the wind blows with you the sun burns through you the cold stings through you and the rain buckets through you. The few who sympathizes with you cannot continually stretch their livelihood for your never-ending 
sorrowful but painful working life. The ones to bear and carry the fruits of your breakdown and severe depression is your immediate family and those who will be lucky enough to those who will be lucky enough to see those deep drops of crystal clear tears that would run down your weary if not drawn out face. Those tears will bucket down as if in slow motion. In sink in sync Oh, and it says sync here. Yeah. It's a good thing I have to I have to go through this here. So in sync with your throbbing painful sinking heart. And you can imagine now if it's twenty seven years and you imagine how painful it was for Nelson Mandela. It's beyond imagination how you would survive fifty four years, right? Double the time. It's beyond imagination. Okay, from my, my point of view, it's beyond imagination. Like, like Nelson Mandela and many others, uh, obviously those who were incarcerated for a long time, doesn't matter whether it was only here in South Africa, but in the world, surely there was one thing um, they managed, uh, or he managed, yeah, okay, was he, the, the, he managed to fall back, to fall back to, there's something, was as much and what I'm trying to say is you have to find yourself in the room that is right now that 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 you found yourself in you know the force down realm let me put it that way because it's not by choice right and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it right you're forced to be in that realm and there's no light at the end of the tunnel because you can never see where you're going right you can imagine for those who have actually been very fortunate to pay a visit at um, Robin Island and see the small little cell Nelson Mandela was in when he stretches when he's lying on the floor for those who never been there right his feet would touch either walls that's how small it is or that's how small it was it was it's tiny it is tiny now you can imagine spending 27 years in that cell. Yes, there will be a small time here and there where you are. But at some point I think he found comfort in that small cell. And he made the best of that realm. Right? For him to stay sane. That's the point. So that's the fallback. There's something that he found that he fall back to. Right? He never, he, I don't think there was a point where he hated the cell. He didn't, you don't end up hating the space. I think that's what I'm trying to say, if it make, makes any sense. Right? But anyway, that's for you to to feel and imagine. Right? Maybe this music will help you uncoil from such tension for a lack of a better word. I'm in the position to, tell, to write this here because at some point, I had a breakdown and that breakdown came and went and the next thing I did was to do this track. It didn't come out, it wasn't the way it is now. I've gone on and chopped and changed it, right? And I thought I could share it with you guys. So I won't go through a lot and how I've done it, it was just in the moment. This was my fault back for me to be able to get up again, you know, beat those shackles from depression and say fair enough this is how it is and thanks to my to my friends we have come to my rescue thanks to my friends you know on the very day someone is telepathic you know you, you get friends who are very telepathic something happens to you your phone they, they phone you right time that that time unfortunately it's not the right time to phone but at the same time they've sensed um they've actually tapped into that realm so right enough of that talk so this is what i've done here um so let's see if this music i mean this beat here as it plays it can actually uh, synchronize with the scenario i've actually put out there all right all right so i've got my settings as well once more just to help others uh, my settings the primary sound driver is what i have you have to have the device because i'm capturing this live 
I've got three softwares running. You can see them. Uh, I mean, yeah, the bottom. Okay, you won't see what this one. I've, what I've done is I've made sure it should show them. It must just show the the project that I have to I have to do. But I've got them. One that captures the 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 the, the video. I'm using my cell phone to capture, and I also have a capture software. TechSmith come test here, 2021. That's what I have. Um, so yes, uh, my 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 system will be very slow because the CPU is completely completely uh, over overloaded right now. Um, I got a mid also, but I, since I'm not going through the, I'll just explain quickly what um what i've done and i'll show you the notes and 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 you know just to cement the reason why i've done that and also one or two things that can come out all right um as a, as usual the buffer length i've actually pushed it all the way to the uh, to the top since we've got a lot of plugins that's running right now all right all right let's close that and then come to the uh, to the track and i'm hoping as you can see now the cpu power you look at here uh, already sitting on 50 you see 56 so once they start playing a lot of things right they will be clipping so maybe those were sensitive and just like things to be running smooth uh, my humble apologies i think it's time for you to just close it uh, and not watch it and not listen to it <laughs> because it will be irritating um okay this song goes like this it's not complete but i've done something All right Right as usual, we'll sit with that. But now let's try and fix this here quickly. <coughs> I have to. I will explain without playing it for now. Stop this here quickly. Fair okay, enough. Uh, let's see my photo here. Let's check this down. Push this volume up. It's a bit low. I don't see it. Okay, one. Okay, fair enough. All right. Um, so what I have is um, parent two. I can just explain quickly with parent two without me playing it. Here's the notes for parent two. I've already kick drum. I have already kick ray. Um, I've used the sample that others have twitched already. I normally like twitching my sample. So on this day I was too lazy, and then depending on the mood I was in, right? I wasn't there. To, to be creative I just wanted something that was just gonna take me quickly and as fast as it can and as far as I can away from you know the looming ugly depression that was coming in so I've already kick um, this is my drums that's that there uh, so I've got drums there uh, so I've already kick and then I've got um, a clip this is a clip and this guy in uh, D has got a nice clip that is actually put in there uh, most probably we can play them in pattern mode because then you can hear the pattern mode will play right there we go yeah that's uh, probably that's the only thing i can do so you can actually see right so that's this here that's that pattern there so what i can do right now or else it's just playing now um i can rename this so that when it saves it's easier for me to find it rename that quickly that pattern there so this is um my drum set when i rename stuff I, I, I like to be very specific so so that i know exactly what i have so so i can say drum set one because maybe i might have another one drum set one and one. i'll probably let me write what i have so i've got a kick in there uh, i have to be specific cider cider kick let me call it that way so I've got a cider kick. I've got also Navid. I must, I must, I must be proud of them. You see, this, this these are guys who are actually doing good job for us. Navid clap. It's a clap. This one I'm not gonna write. Whatever it is the session two. There's a lot of stuff. Here. Navid clap. And then the last that I have is 808 hi hat. 808 hi hat. Right, so that's renamed there. Uh, yes, you can see it's very long, but it's fine. Uh, okay, most probably parent two and three and four. Um, those were the original ideas that I had. 
which sounds completely different to this track. Let's go to parent 5. Uh, see what parent 5 is. That's the notes for parent 5 which is on the log drum. So I've got um, the log drum for me to show excuse me. For me to show you the log drum. This is what happens on the log drum. Uh, these are the notes uh, under pattern uh, what you call um, on this piano row. Right. Here's the notes and this is how it plays. So just open quickly. Yeah. All right. So the adjustments that I have on the log drum is on the timer. I've adjusted the time. Uh, if you look at the time here, I'm just pull this down. The time here on the log drum, I've adjusted it to eight percent, sitting on eight percent, and also the suspension, the sustain. Sorry, the sustain. I've pushed it up to twenty-three. Right. For it to sound the way it sounds, and all other adjustments I've done also is here yeah, I've, I've moved um, uh, five percent of this um, initial uh, uh, starting point for 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 this modulation too, and then I've also adjusted nine percent up to nine percent the time, so is the sustain also on on, on it, and then it sounds it gives that deep bass. But I've low I've used the lower notes anyway. Because that's what I want to hear. I just want that to be the best that just continuously play there. So it plays throughout the track. Um, those are the uh, 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 that's the adjustment I've done there, right? Let's come to um, this Teller app, right? Teller app. Go into that one. Uh, should give us here what what it's all about. Here we go. So I've got Scalar here. And what I have under Scalar, it's just um, it's a soft piano. And then what I have is I just have these simple notes where I'm starting with the uh, um, I'm starting with the uh, 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 the variation, you know, the interval that just ties up into that was the the the, the chord progression is actually delayed, and it's just a minor nine. That's what I have. I've got minor nine D yeah? D minor D minor nine whichever way they pronounce it those who are clever than me all right and then i've started with the interval or you know something that just ties up that just builds it into into that whole thing and this is how it plays Let's see if it can play that mm -hmm. that's how it starts mm -hmm. And notice how the silence also plays a major part in 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 putting those emotions and 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 the imagination right into I, I, at the forefront. It just brings that everything out there and and lays it bare for you to take and start thinking. All right. So that's how we have come to that day. And the next thing. Um, just stop that quickly since I mean we don't wanna, I don't wanna irritate you guys that much. <coughs> the next thing I have is this exciting one. Uh parent eight is very exciting that I need. So parent five before we go to parent eight, let's go to parent five and rename parent five. Right? Parent five we know it's our log drum. Right? This is an altered 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 log drum. Altered log drum, All right? So I can just put my name there. So I know because I've I've been doing a lot of them anyway. So, right, that's renamed that pattern. This is gonna be important once we uh, uh, consolidate. I need to consolidate all these here uh, individually, right? So we can free up some CPU power. Because right now all these um, uh, plugins they will be playing, and each depending on how how, how much um. Um, uh, um how the interface looks like each each of the plugins might draw quite a lot of power so right now scale i know it does uh, i can just show you how it is it's quite rich in colors and all that kind of thing so that draws quite a lot of cpu cpu power right 
um, you can just be patient with it for it to open and then you can see what I mean right so any plugin that's very rich in color will draw a lot of power a lot more power than anything else whereas when it plays and all the uh, twitchings and whatnot that you do that's why for me I found it very important that your 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 uh, your EQing it has to start with the plugins within the plugins that you're using that's where you can win the war right win the war there and then you've got less less EQing to do bring in a lot of um, uh, uh, what you call plug I mean uh, uh, effect right at the end in your master uh, master master um, uh, channel uh, on on the on the mixer you yeah. know so it's always important if you can give right now if I can keep um, my 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 track nice and clean as I build it along at the end of it uh, of the track once I'm doing my finalization it's very minimal things I have to do and there's less um, stuff just to build there so you can see the, how rich this whole thing is yes you know it looks very minimal but all these colors is also in HD right this also just adds up to CPU power. All right, I thought that's also important. Um, it can't be only about you know how the sound, how things sound, but we need to. Uh, at, at some point, I'm gonna be because for a lot of people who are watching, they don't have these these plugins that I'll use. So I'll make sure they are available. Or I'll, 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 I'll direct you to the links where you can download them and install them and use them. They're quite nice and they bring out very nice stuff. So let's go to Parinet. Just double click there to parent 8 to show me the notes for parent 8. I just have two simple notes here. Uh, uh, come on. It's not pulling back. Alright, it's slow in responding. We know the reason. Oh, okay. can see you can see here was it still scanning patches so these 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 are the sort of things that you need to be aware of <coughs> I mean to be wary of <coughs> sorry understanding where why is things not going on once you start knowing your door very well you know all the program I mean all everything that's let me just collapse this here quickly all right pull this back uh, all right so now I can rearrange that was the arrangement also is quite important uh, you need to arrange um, your interface uh, properly so that it's easier to navigate around it. Right, so I only have, if you look at it, about two two nodes in here, right? Uh, E5, E5, and I've pulled them all the way. So they, they're actually playing off the bit. So the main idea when you're making uh, these tracks is to fill in the spaces, what uh, the spaces that's left by the other track. So you can't do a track that's just gonna fill all the uh, all the all the gaps. You need to fill those. It's like when you're sitting outside, the last thing you want is to stay at a tree only, just that one tree. No, there should be a tree. Something breaks that, something else, and then you start actually feeling that uh, 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 that interest in, and also feeling the space where you are. You know, it will start making sense. Your brain will start registering that you are. No, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I, where I am. You know, everything will start coming together. That's the idea. That's the reason why I do this. That's why the. That's also the reason why I like to explain things so you can see where they're coming from and the reason why. So I'm not just planting things for the sake of planting it. So these are the notes there, and this is how it sounds. But before I open this here, okay, let's just play it quickly and hear what it sounds like. Right, all right. Let's push back the velocities to where they are. We've had exactly what what this is. This is the lesson that I had last time. The last lesson I gave, it was on this effect that we get from. Um, so we need to go to contact and it find where contact is here right now. So we can see. Uh, we know it's this one here. So we can just click this. That shows parent eight here. 
parent aid, I should see contact. There you go. There is our contact. Now, contact is going to take long to open, and that, but I need to show you things here. They are there. For those who missed um, uh, the last tutorial I have, you can go back to that tutorial, but I think it's also important um, for those probably who doesn't like the tutorial and can't go back there and find where it is. I'll show you again. I, I, I'm glad to show it and share it with you guys, guys how, to, how to achieve that. and for most producers i've watched a lot of tutorials a lot of producers to get to this um uh, sound alone they'll have three or four more plugins to get to there they'll have one that's got um, um uh, ambience was you can hear the ambience actually under i mean uh, underpinned there right you can hear the piano knocking you know you can hear the, the piano actually hitting right there but i've got this whole um uh, sound sample by just one uh, plugin. Okay, call it two because it's um, contact and it's it's other plugins. Because there's plugins for, for for contact. Right here we go. Contact is open, and I'll show you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What happened? All right. Here is contact, and what I have here. Is this nice baby let's just go here on performance so we can see how it looks like it's an emotional piano that I have I've chosen the master one and what I'm playing around with here yeah, for me to hear all these things well, I'll do the adjustments and then you can hear what's gonna happen right high dumping is what one of the things I've played around it now you can hear it has changed There you go. Right. Now, the ambience is created by the convolution here, which is the reverb. Under reverb controls, I've got the reverb on, and I've actually chosen this here. It's got options here, whip up or whip down. So you can hear it's going up, going up, and then if I go down, it will go, it will come all the way down, right? So these are the things that you can play around you can add and just to modify the kind of sound that's going to come out there and you can go on tone and do all other things again so just to uh, to just to prove my point so let's turn off this reverb and then you hear it will be a normal piano playing there you go there is no there you go so there's 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 no movement right so that uh, uh reverb that convolution and the whip up effect creates that if you want spaces you can use also in here you can have a cathedral you can have you can create how much uh, uh, reverb you want onto it so I do the adjustments here instead of me doing it last into in in, in, uh, in the mixer right so that's why I say always always understand your door play around with it let's add that uh, dumping again just to there we go i like i love it that way you hear when it comes together once once we start playing that's our contact thing um so i'll just rename this to you let's rename it to convoluted we're being very expensive in words here convoluted convoluted emotional piano because we know pianos they all they hear they bring out is emotion emotional piano i'll put it that way i haven't written anything like this so i'll leave it like that that's fine right parent eight is actually if you look at it here under this um uh, window here whatever we actually um uh, renaming and you can see the notes as well what's in the notes here so these were this was the original uh, these ones one three and four where the original and six as well the, the way the original uh, um, bit that I started with and I moved on to the next one as I was folding back folding back 
Right. So we've done that there. Let's go. Let's go. And then what I have as well here. I was quite, quite, quite lazy. And then I went on to Looper Man. I downloaded this guy here. Um, what's his name? I forgot his name. And then he's got this nice, nice, nice um, um. Uh, I don't wanna play it for me. But this is a percussion, right? This is a percussion that just plays nice. What I've done is once I've br brought it here as a sample. Right, it's in a different um, uh, tempo mode, and what you do is you when you click down here for it to fit to your to your tempo, fit to the, to uh, fit to tempo, click here, and this will adjust and it just goes along with your tempo. You can listen and see if it's playing along in the same pitch that you want. So to do that, you have to check the stretch here. You have to do the stretch power part on on the sample itself. So we come here. Here it is. Open it here. right so here's the sample i just needed to draw over this one here uh, that's if it's not yes it is done already so it's detached here so when i click there you can detach it so it can draw over everything else on top here i've reduced it here it is um this is important the mod so you stretch it so that it plays in its original sound that you had because once it comes here on fruit loops whatever sample you're going to put here it's resampling it by default all right then I adjusted um, um, the, the the volume so that it, it fits in within the track. And another thing, whilst we are there, that's more important, is to adjust the volume so that whilst you're still doing, be able to hear each and every pattern that you have put in there. So all these patterns, I should be able to hear them. And then my ear, by you know, so far my ear is now uh, trained to 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 hear this thing. Um, to a certain level I can be able to pick up any note in here within each and every um, uh, What you call pattern that would be sitting and clashing with other notes there And then I, I should be able to get there and say this note here if I move it slightly here Nudge it a bit here, right? It should go well if it's clashing too much. I, ca I can take it out. So you should be at the, You practice Practice and practice and practice you get there Right, we we'll got our melody as well here. Yeah? Um, if you look at it, also about this PBA, this guy here yeah, also is very nice melody. I've taken his melody there, right? And where is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So uh, let me see if I can go to those patterns I can play. But these ones here, because they're not, they were not patterns. I've made sure there is. Um, here is my um vocals that i've just picked up also they are sample <coughs> they are samples right this guy here <coughs> it's a flute that plays there and this is uh, this here um if you look at it i've built it from this side down right so i've been filling the gaps and i felt that a need for this here to be there and also what i have is about these vocals here uh, thanks to cymatics um and then both of them um they just complement each other with the flute um everything just sits in well and sit up, up, up properly there. all right um let me just pause this here quickly so i can yeah let me pause this here oh, okay before i pause that let's go to uh, pattern nine I saw pattern six. So we'll go back to pattern six. So let's see what's on pattern six. Since I'm just showing, I've got a bass here. Uh, pattern six, I've got a sub bass that I, I'm playing. I pulled the the um, uh, the, 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 the 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 volume quite low. And these are the notes for the bass. And this is how just uh, that's, this is just what um, happens to the bass. Push it slightly higher so you can actually hear what it is. And the note 
length also plays a major role in the movement on that base so there's quite a lot of movement on that base so we know it was some sitting here somewhere close by close to 50 let's just put it on 50 okay 53 55 right keep it at 55 so that's what it is right and just show you once again it's a it's a plugin that i'll make available sometime for those who want it please um, raise your hands then i'll create those links so far i haven't seen anyone who has said you know using plugins can we have that There's no one is actually sending a request for the for the plugins so up until one or two people request for it and uh, then i'll create a link for it here we go that's rob wrapping um sub sub boom best all right and that's what i'm using best best move one so it's under that bank one day all right it's got a lot of nice stuff in it all right you can do all the twitching in here to your liking as much as you like especially here what you do is you can twitch this here to change the way it sounds and even the waveforms on it all right showed you that let's go back so this year we know it's sub boom bass so i can just rename it party nine sub boom bass i'll call it move one right so i've got that all renamed okay take this out this is all right but now let's go back to six now uh part in six all right part in six um let's see part in six first let's just check this here out clean up um I call it right housekeeping is good so far we a lot of things right in front there right so parent six uh let's find parent six we're on parent six here scroll all up uh, and see where the notes are there we go um what i have here it's a plaque uh this is a uh, uh, uh the one that comes with the air force studio right uh it's a plaque plugged what they call it, that's what they call what i've done here is i've adjusted uh the decay i made it shorter and also the color i've dropped the color quite a lot right i put the gate in and it's playing in normal and widened it right but for it now when it opens it opens with normal and widen as and then uh these settings are actually halfway up here so that's that's the normal thing and this is how it sounds i think what i have is um about two uh there's something else that i've, I've layered there but I can see those notes there. So it's not only the 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 plaque that's uh, that's playing there. Mm. Waiting game again. All right. So it's it's not only the plaque. Right there we go. I layered it with the snare. Here we go. So Navi D. I bought two parts. I bought a uh, a clip and a a snare that um. Uh, uh, as a sample so i've layered that um these two here and this is how they sound you can just close this here quickly and this is how this i'll just write plugged it's a plugged plug so it's plugged and 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 uh, navi d again i write the full name because i have to appreciate his work navi d snare six that's his snare snare six that's what i saw there. right so i'm happy with it right so everything is now done here right for us if we play in here we're struggling with that cpu power so what we're gonna do is now the next thing i would do since we are all bedroom for, for those bedroom producers like me um the most important thing now this is this track is co still continues because i'm still building on that i'm still going through the whole thing right so all i have is i have the intro i have the first verse um in there i wear a, a, a small bridge that just drops down 
and then that bridge just builds up to 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 this part of the chorus there that I have right so this is where I have I, I've just started there so we're gonna stop it here we're gonna we're gonna actually keep the track right up there we're not, we're not gonna build down to to it much so the next step that I would do why I was um, uh, renaming this pattern now I need to consolidate these parts here I'll record I'll consolidate them uh, in my previous tutorials I also showed the benefits of um, uh, uh, um, uh, consolidating and this is one of them where you save on CPU power so you can you can do these tutorials you can create your songs wherever you are on the train or on the bus or wherever you want to be you can do these things here and then you've got no problem you can do a tutorial like this and then you've got no problem right yes the only thing that you have to be aware of will be the sound right so let's let's consolidate this here um, they are already renamed which is fine uh, it will just show consolidated consolidated at the, at the end in brackets just to show but we have renamed them um, this will take a little while to do um, I've actually made a mistake I should have uh, consolidated uh, just a short piece instead of consolidating the whole piece since our system is slow but for me now to beat the whole thing I need to pause my uh, screen capture software to release the the CPU power this is where it's important understanding why stuff don't work that much so if I pause I'm gonna pause this here pause that and then our consolidation should actually run much quicker <coughs> yes, um, I hit a little snare gray, and as usual, you know, I haven't um, really upgraded my my system. I still have to do a lot of cleaning on this system just to make sure there is enough 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 um, uh, hard drive space. That's number one. Number two, also my system, my my my, I use a laptop, so there hasn't been um what you call uh enough for him as well so it's all these things that demand money that's the unfortunate thing right so um i had to pause um to make sure i consolidate all these tracks here and if you can come to the channel <coughs> channel channel rec here uh, on the channel rec if you you can see now I've got a lot of stuff and now I've also renamed them so if you look at it what we had what I was showing you all uh, right throughout now I've I've muted all of um, um, uh, what you call um, the patterns um, all the same but the samples and plugins that were running the samples I mean the patterns right so I've muted them so I can have at least a little bit of leeway right um just to free up that cpu power so at least we can hear the track yes it's been me talking quite a lot and a lot of people probably <laughs> they've, they've even left i mean um, uh, watching this here they just decided not to watch it but yes a lot of them have muted them and then all i have is only new stuff that's that's been uh sampled right they're just in a wave it's a wave sample that's there right less power and then what we have to do uh, what i have to show you as well on here okay these are still in the, in the original there eh? but i think this year uh, let's just open it up and then do the final final part of it um you can see it's been resampled right because it will play completely different to what 
my original one what i mean that so what i'm just gonna do is stretch and cross fade right close that note that it will cross fade because it's right it's done right to the end there uh, this is still fine it's still the same way uh didn't change much there um so is this here um uh, this is this is uh, also uh, uh, this is our percussion um, the sample that I just pulled in like that um, it's still fine uh, so is our melody that's just gonna be driving this is a flute that's also stretched I didn't change anything I like it the way it is um, uh, let's see what's in here also this part here I need to change this here sample uh, stretch it and then crossfade right I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything except for making it fit right into my into my into my system here um, th this is where we are now these ones here you can see them that, 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 that right and the next one is also uh, a sample I'm not sure why I've put them on the same inset in in so if i'm happy with them and then i can do adjustments at the same time that's okay that's why most probably i've just put them together there you can even see even the <coughs> uh, the levels are the same right slightly pushed back there so also this year they will be playing in exactly the way i want it uh, sub bass sub boom bass um that one day yes you can see it's not it's not assigned to anything and it's muted and then we come here these two here initially this thing crashed so i had done one already um but i'm not sure now which one is supposed to be playing here and you can see with the wave pattern here we can look at it and see where this one is uh, that's it here okay these two i see because what i've done is the same thing so we can just move this into there that's why it's showing two shift up it's the same thing you can see the wave patterns are the same so initially i went for just a, sh a short sample just to try and minimize the time it takes to consolidate and eventually it was running because i had to take every every instrument out there and also um the recording the the the, the, the screen capture uh, software i had to also uh, take it off so i've just restarted this whole thing again all right so it's just this last process that i have to do because i don't want them to be sampled i want them to play the same way that i had last remember by default this this um uh, fl studio actually changes them right it resamples them so they have a different tone on them all right so once we're done with this at least we can listen to it and here we it goes and whether it's really the fit the uh, our our reason to make this story and our imag imagination um, that we we actually brought out earlier on um, as we started our project right um, just one or two more haha <laughs> I'm happy with that all right so now we got we got our track here we got all our uh, our uh, patterns and then we've got our samples uh, right that's all done here now so we can see all of them here they're all there right we're starting our drum set i can also clear these up uh so just mute these parts here mute that mute this here or i can delete them if i want for now i'll leave it there but just mute them so just freeze up a lot more um, CPU power right so there you go just push this up a little bit uh, shift up right so let's see if we can see the whole track yes we can and then just pull it down a little bit right up to the last one we we'll just print over the other one there geez it goes all the way fair enough uh, let's leave it like that all right so <coughs> here's our track let's let's play it quickly so we can hear all right just a quick recap while we on it while it's doing its um its job uh, let's look at how, how we started 
um, like I said earlier on, my emphasis on the, uh, the thing that I emphasize mostly on is the trigger point is what matters. What triggers you to start what you're doing, right? And the why part is why does that trigger just came in like that? So you need to deal with that part first. Right? This is where you get inspiration. It's not about for me. That's how I get my inspiration. Might differ with everyone, but for those who be stuck in a loop where you've started something and then you don't know how to take it across or to move it from point A to point B, um, that becomes very tricky, very, very, very tricky. Right? But if you if you if you've got a certain imagination of some sort to deal with, right? it could be some. I mean, people you've been watching, you know, you're walking up past the restaurant and then you. Something just fascinated you in, in, in the way some some guy was just chewing the meat, the, the the way he was using the fork. You know, those are the kind of uh, uh, scenarios that you can build on, right? Because you have so many questions that you have to answer there. Why did it fascinate you in the first place? And how 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 do you think? I mean, you know, maybe that person would have done things. There. But now you have to do that uh, putting it music. So. Uh, imagination has to be second to none when it comes to you as a producer. For you not to stick, to, to get stuck in a, in, a, in, a, in a loop, in a way you've created this here, then all of a sudden that, no, that doesn't know, you don't know it, where, which way to go. Right? Same as um, writing the lyrics, because you got a story. Once you have the, uh, the story with you, it's quite easier to put together now bits and pieces, you know, to support your story. You know, so that it flows the way you actually saw it, right? From where it started, how things panned out. Because you have to be, you 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 will be in a position to explain to someone, whoever you're gonna come in contact with, on I mean, or see, meet, talk to, next, you will be able to be in a position to explain to them what fascinated you, what happened, or someone will ask you what happened because they actually heading towards that. You can narrate your own story. The same goes for music. We turn this now into into music, using notes and whatnot, and also adding whatever we want to talk about. Right? If we feel there's a need for vocals just to smoothen everything up or to tighten up the loose ends, so be it. Let it be there. Think about how it's gonna look like, how it's gonna sound like. Right? Look like in the sense that you know you got the visual part of it. Even if when you're doing music video, whoever is going to do the music video, whoever is going to listen, they will listen and also visualize. You know, they will tap into to what you were actually thinking about. So those are the most important things. That should be um, the things that I always look into. I always see it that way. Um, and it gives me a head start all the time. There is, there is no way I can say, you know, I'll, I'll get stuck. I'll get stuck. I can come up with just one, even if it's a teaspoon, whether it's a, my kid who has coughed, that should spark something and a small story to talk, I mean, to carry on, uh, to carry over. So these these are the, the, the that's, that's one of the things that you, you have to look at. But you have to ask yourself questions when you're doing this thing. The reason why someone has to listen to your track, the why part is so paramount. You need to really express that pattern. Your 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 work should be the one that answers everything at the end of the day. For those who still be confused and can't follow here and there, because we know not all of us are always in a position to want to listen. Listening is another skill that a lot of people still have to master. We don't like to listen to other people. We're more happy listening to our own voices. But listening to other people, we tend to get bored so quickly. So is these tutorials. Very few people who actually listen to the parts where there's a lot of explanation, they don't like that. They might not even like it. All they want is to see whatever, try and make up sense out of it and, and move on. Right? But life is not about that. Right? With time, you're going to realize that I mean, it's important to pay attention because even to your work, you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention as I've demonstrated there. You will pay attention to each and every little thing that you do. If there is a mistake, you are quick to actually find it and find that, oh, okay, 
there is a mistake there. I need to go back, try and rectify it as quickly as possible. If you leave it for last and then you're just cruising, then you sit with a problem. I, another analogy I would use is the analogy of driving a car. When you drive, it's not in the drive, just driving, holding the steering wheel and, and making the car run fast. You see those, the, the speedometer really going berserk and all that kind. There is a lot in being a driver than just having the car speeding all down the street or speeding down the highway. Right? You need to pay attention to that car. You need to absolutely pay absolute attention to it. Besides you looking out there and, and watching for other cars, the, the main focus has to be you listening to that car. Whether the tires are still sounding the same, whether the, the accelerator still feels the same, there's no jerking, there's no, there's no, there's no vibration on it because those are warning signs of something that's going to happen immediately. And the more you're pushing it, with you ignoring what's happening, it's just going to be a disaster. Um, that's, it will be a disaster if you can live to tell about it, right? The same goes with your health, right? We get all these um, uh, symptoms and those symptoms, we need to pay attention to them. As much as we love our bodies and, and our bodies and, and, and we do a lots of things with it, we abuse our bodies left, right and center. We just wake up, we do whatever we want, wash and then we think it's wrong. But we need to pay attention as we walk. Whatever we do, we need to pay attention to it. Because we need that same body to carry us over, over and over. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, we need it carrying us over. So the same thing applies to your work. As much as you hate listening to uh, someone talking and driving these points down, right? it's important that you just teach yourself to listen. Because if you can't listen, even if, if you fail to listen to someone, how are you going to listen to your own tracks? Because your tracks is like a lot of people talking at the same time, but in different spaces. Not at the same time, completely at the same time, but in different spaces. And then you need to hear each and every one of them. Make sense? Maybe two or one day. When you realize that, I mean, you're working with so many elements and you're putting together those elements and those elements need to gel. They need to actually become one thing. That's important. That's the reason why I focus mostly on this part where you, you know, you need to learn to listen. That's the main purpose for um, most tutorials. Even though even professionals they don't talk, a lot of people you know they've moved on. They've learned to do the trick. They now know they their main purpose for most of the tutorials is just to make money out of it. They will assume you've done the first part, and someone or yourself you've actually done reality check and and seen you found your purpose in what you want to do. You found your wisdom in what you want to do. Which is not easy to do, right? Your wisdom, for you to realize your own mistakes, it will, you you have someone will have pointed them at some point. Yeah, you will be lucky and good to go if you can pick up your own mistakes as you go. But in most of the case, we we learn our mistakes, learn about our mistakes right from other people. If it's not other people, if there is something a mistake that you have done, and and not put in, you know the the. the not wearing the, the, the proper the proper uh, um, um, attire. If you stand in front of the mirror, there is that someone for you. Where you can see yourself, damn, I made a blue bulb here. Whatever, if there is a way like that. All right, so those are important things. So listening, listening, listening is always one thing that, that, should, that we should practice whether a producer, DJ, whatnot. You see, DJs, it's important. They must listen to that one because that's how, that's how they make up all the stuff. So if you can't listen, so the main lesson here is that, and the main reason that we have to drive home, whoever is putting up out, I mean, a tutorial out there, is to teach people to learn to listen and have that patience. Have that patience to listen whether someone is bluffing and what makes sense out of whatever they're trying to say, right? They have, they might have the idea and struggle to put it across. But if you can, if you can actually bring it out and and uh, and 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 be able to, to figure out exactly what they're trying to 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 say and what they're struggling with, right? 
you have learned something. The same thing with a teacher. A lot of us wouldn't make it in life if we never went to school and someone stood in front of that board and explained a lot of things that happens in in in, in, in. that's that's required of us, right? School right through the whole steps up to university and up to something else because we got people who are even way past I mean universities now. You know the guys who who create rockets. You know they they up there. You know that kind of thing. They listen. They have to listen. That's one lesson they have to do. So I have to drive this home, unfortunately. Listening, listening, listening. Ask yourself why. Find your purpose for what you want to put out there. And how you want to put it should actually tie in with you being fitting in someone else's shoes, sitting there, listening to what you're putting in there. Right? And say, okay, this guy is making sense, he's not making sense there. So do a self introspection as we go through doing these things. We're doing self introspection, right? You can see where you can do, do wrong, where you, where you're doing right, and you know you adjust accordingly. These are the most important things, and then you can see even your behaviors. If you talk to most producers, people who have been producing right now, you go and speak to them. The first thing they do, they keep quiet and they give you the space to talk. You're going to talk and say whatever you, your ideas are. He's going to put his ideas and then you try to be so clever, talk too much. He keeps quiet and listen to you. And already he's playing, everything is playing in his head according to what you want and all that kind. He's already starting to do that because of listening. Pay attention. All right. That's enough for that. So, yes, that's the main, the gist of the whole thing. We, it's always important we go through that thing and then I've showed you also um, how now you start preparing you can write your story but at the same time the backbone of your whole story has to be questions that you ask you can put in as put down as much questions as you like that you need answers right if you're looking at a scenario if you're working off a scenario if you're working off um, um, uh, 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 something that happened in your life you got every little detail there. If it's something that's really personal, it's pretty much easier because you know exactly how you felt. And I can guarantee you, if you tell someone the same story, right, they will have the same feeling pretty much close to how you actually felt it. Right? That's what you want. You want people grappled with what you're putting out there, right? Whether it's in a bad, bad way or in a good way. At the same time, it should be building. It should be able to change. It must instill something in other pe in people. The same way the theme here, Nelson Mandela, actually grappled the whole world. There's very few people who doesn't know the story of Nelson Mandela at all. Doesn't matter, irrespective of whatever language you speak. Right? Everyone has grappled with it. They have the imagination of what really transpired within those 27 years. Was it comes back? It comes in as a backdrop of how you've spent your own time within 27 years. Was there will be a lot of things that happened there, right? Not the same things, but quite completely different things would have happened that taken place within that 27 years. So these 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 are the things that. Um, as producers we put out there that's why music evolves right you start coming up with uh, certain ideas right so as producers it's not about copying what the other person is doing i can show you this year you can do with the same notes with something else you can do something completely different and it will sound still sound nice the same way djs do they take all our music once we play it and then where we think you know ah oh, we've done great and a DJ comes in, you know, puts one or two elements that's missing there, is salt and pepper right there, and hell yes, the damn thing just goes, it goes over the roof. All right? So you shouldn't limit yourself and say, you know, this is my stuff, or you just want everything to be yours. No, it doesn't work like that. Right? Share, be open. Right? You never know who's going to. Who, who, who will be pushing you right up to where you're struggling to be right now right we're putting these tutorials was most probably our we are failures our music hasn't even gone anywhere very few people will know about it 
the only day they'll hear it if some other dj is bold enough to play your track mix it with something else and everyone wants to know where that track comes from and your career can take off from there so there's always positives and it's not about time once again you know we always fight for time and whatnot because we're learning as much as learning if you rush to the finish line chances are you're gonna miss a lot of things there is a lot to learn along the way because yes you can get to the finish line once you get to the finish line right how are you gonna if you've actually skipped a lot of steps that would should be helping you in building the next the next thing that uh, 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 that you need to put out there right so steps are always important like cross, crossing a river if you try and cross a river so quickly without really studying how the river flows right you will be washed away so that's important you have to be tentative in doing everything right but not that tentative but you have to be right you need to experience each and every little piece of um, adversity that comes along with it, difficult that comes along with it. Don't don't shy off from trying it. You know, there's no one who's gonna put marks for you. That's the beauty of it. You know, they, 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 when people go to university, you know, they the school part where everyone marks it and say, no, you're right. No, yeah, you're wrong. It goes away. It falls away. Because at university now they're looking at how, you know, your reasoning capacity is what's marked. What's marked. You're thinking, not the real answer. Was uh, you can I can give a wrong answer, but uh, if I have the right support for it, the same thing with lawyers now. Right? A lawyer can argue. You know, you saw the guy kill someone, but a lawyer can argue on technicality and say he didn't kill him, and that guy can walk scot free. That's what I'm talking about. That's how life is supposed to be. Right? Very intriguing. Our life. No, I'm not saying general life life is producers <laughs> right so that's 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 quite in, in, intriguing uh, uh and, and fascinating at the same time yes it's said you know because it just drives our society to certain things but there are those people who just take things at, at face value and they think it's gospel right something someone hears something he, he takes it like that and then he spreads it the way it is or even you know put a little bit more but which is not the right thing to do in life but weigh out everything. If you can feel it, right? Put your feet, get your fingers dirty. That's what it is, right? You'll be a better person eventually. You can change the world. You can change someone's life. And when we say change the world, we don't mean the billions of people. Whether you change the one, that's more than enough. It goes a long way. Because that same one, that's one same person who will change someone else's life as well. So it might, it will be a chain reaction indirectly you have if at the end of the, uh, the day 45,000 people are helped through you just helping the first person you have helped that 45,000 because if you, if you didn't say anything none of them would have got that right all right <coughs> what else did you do um consolidation yes um paying attention yes because once once our door we need to understand our door very well uh, and and housekeeping is always important also on your interface where you don't get confused you don't end up being all over the whole place you know exactly where you're going that's where paying attention is more important because if one small thing goes off like that you know exactly where to go and how to adjust it all right all right folks um yes after a long time, here's a track. Um, we had to consolidate it. Uh, I had to consolidate a few things. Took out. Um, just put together this part here. Um, you can see now it has been consolidated. So, automatically got its own. I'll, I'll change that. But all this year, these ones that have been grayed out now, you know, they were adding up to all that travel. Now we only have one sample play. And one. Okay, let's stop this here before it gets pissed off. Uh, just make sure we do adjustment here. Stretch. 
shouldn't forget that so that's why I pay attention to detail all right and then this will be my it will sit on inset 15 that's for further mastering and EQing and all that kind of thing all right so the mix is done now we're not gonna go as far as that let's just hear it quickly again let's hear it You can hear the movement in that um, uh, chord prog progression. Remember what I said, everything must find a space to sit in. folks um that's been now uh, the lesson for the day um yes um for those who doesn't like who don't like who doesn't like uh, a lot of chit chat on this whole thing that's unfortunate um this is where we pinpoint certain things and talk about why certain things don't work you know remember the whole thing is why yeah. so it's always important that you resolve why so in every lesson that i'm putting out there my whole aim is to deal with why why we put in this here why the thing comes up like that why it ends up like that and there's no use to actually put in a, a, a something that's well polished out there without showing where why you polished it how the mistakes were done and how you managed to resolve them to someone else who's still struggling to try and figure out where it is so the mistakes when those mistakes are there it's always important to find out exactly how someone has resolved them how they happen why they're happening and how you can get around them so that's the important part i'll, I'll make sure they, they, they i'll finish off the track and i hope it still goes with our story our storyline which is at the beginning of of um uh, at the beginning of our tutorial All right at mc88 catch me next time for the next tutorial i'm not sure what i'm gonna come up with um i'll just see if i walk i'm walking around there something is just gonna trigger something and i'll try and do it all right cheers ciao